So last week, I put out a video talking about the difference between a musical and non-musical openings. I talked about what's the difference between them and whether you should do a musical or non-musical. This week, I'm going to be ranking my top 20 favorite musicals. But before we get started, let me lay down some ground rules. These are all movie adaptations of them. Now, in some cases, it will be that I prefer the musical, but they have to all have a movie adaptation that I'm mainly going to be talking about. They're all going to be based off of not just the story, but ba mainly just the music of it. The thing is, while the story is important to what I'm talking about, I'm mainly just going to be coming from the angle of, I like the music from this, the music is good, I want to talk about it because of the music. So, while I'm a big person into you know, the screen rating stuff, I will be mainly putting that aside to talk about. I mean, I like these musicals as musicals. So without further ado, let's jump in and talk about these musicals that have great music, but also somewhat, most of them have great stories as well. Number 20, My Fair Lady. My Fair Lady is an older musical. I have wa I grew up watching it every once in a while. Recently, I watched it again. It's good. It's not the best. I don't have as much to say about it, but it's a good story, and the music in it is so much fun. Everyone gives a great performance. There's some awesome music, but I will admit that there are some problems with the movie in general. And I just kind of like it. I don't think it's the greatest. I That's why I put it on the bottom of my list, because it's just, it's good. Number 19, Godspell. Godspell is one of those movies that I like. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I've, I've listened to music recently. And I grew up watching it. I thought there was parts in it that was really scary. But for the most part, I enjoyed it. I think the music is fun. For those who don't know what Godspell is, it's a story it's the story of Jesus from the Gospels. It's told in the 60s, basically, in very weird hippie type way. Really strange. I haven't seen it in years now. But I thought that for what it was. It has some pretty good music in it, and the story, you know, it's the story of the Bible, so I guess, yeah. I haven't seen it in years, so I probably will have to check it out again. Number 18, Annie. Annie, I don't, it's low on the list just because I haven't seen it in a long time now. The music in it is just iconic. The story, I've only seen a couple versions of this, because there's a bunch of versions of this musical made into movies, but for the most part, I think that it's a really cool, fun story about an orphan you know, learning to love her new family and he and this businessman who adopts her, learning to love her for who she is. And it's a very cute little story with some wonderful music, and yeah, I would strongly recommend you guys check it out. Any version of Annie probably would be good, but, but the version I grew up watching was the 1982 version, and so... If I had to recommend a certain version, I would recommend that version because of the reason that that's the one I grew up watching. It. Number 17, American Tale. American Tale is hilarious. I grew up watching it, but it was, it was one of those things where I watched it as a really little kid, don't remember much of it, and then I grew up always running around the house singing the song, Never Say Never. It's a very fun little song. There's a gr some great music in this movie. I, I love the music. It's... A fun little story about a mouse coming to America from Russia and trying to start a new life. I won't spoil what happens in it, but it's a very cute little kid story with some great messages in it and a fun little movie. I would strongly recommend you guys check out number 16, The Jungle Book. Jungle Book is not another one of those movies. It's just so much fun. The music in it is so much fun. The Bare Necessities is one of the greatest Disney songs ever. It's a very fun little adventure based off of a very fun little book about a kid who gets lost in the woods and gets raised by wolves. And it's such a fun little story. I love it. The songs in it I could listen to all the time. It's just a very fun. Most of the movies on this list, I can probably listen to the soundtrack a lot because it's just, but this one is just so much fun. The music in this is just so catchy, so much fun. The, the voice acting in it is just enjoyable. It's just a very fun little story that I would strongly recommend you guys check out if you guys haven't yet. Number 15, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is one of those movies just, it's a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece. It's really, really, really good. The music in it is beautiful. The story is, be is awesome. 
Is it my favorite Disney movie? Definitely not. But as Disney movies go, it's really, really good. The music in it, in it, the music in it is iconic. Everything about this movie is just amazing. I love it. I would strongly recommend you guys check it out if you guys haven't it because Beauty and the Beast is just a really, really, really good movie that's iconic. But it has to be original because the remake is lifeless in my mind. So yeah, check out the original Beauty and the Beast movie. Number 14, The Lion King. Again, just like with, again, just like with Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King is iconic. It's the music in it is just, everyone remembers the music. And this is one of those things where the remake is, did not understand what the whole point of the movie was and didn't really, I've never seen the remake, but they took out the best song from the movie, that being Be Prepared. It's just so much fun. I love that song. The songs in this is so much fun. Akuna Matata is awesome. The Circle of Life is awesome. Every single move, every single song in this is just wonderful. I love it. The story is based off of Hamlet. is really really good. Everything everything about this movie is just wonderful. Is it my favorite? Again, is it my favorite Disney movie? Probably not, but it's pretty good. I like it a lot. Number thirteen, The Road to El Dorado. The Road to El Dorado. Well. In well, in some ways, it may not be considered a musical. I would consider it a musical for the reason that it does have some songs that it's them singing in it. So I would say it's a musical. It's a very fun story. I've talked about it before on my channel. Basically, these two thieves run across the map to the road, uh, the map leading to El Dorado, and they get mistaken as gods there, and they have to live their life trying to pretend to be gods. As they have them build, as they have the El Dorado people building them a ship so they can leave with all this gold that they got from the El Dorado people. Because I mean, yeah, you're gods and all. But it's a very fun story about friendship and about you know telling the truth and stuff like that. And I really, really like it. And the music in it by Elton John is just awesome. And I, I would strongly recommend checking it out if you guys. If you guys haven't yet, because it's really, really, really good. Number 12. Seven Brides, Seven Brothers. Seven Brides, Seven Brothers is a very old movie. And as I was talking about in my... This is one of the biggest movies I was talking about in my video, P, the Peter Pan and Wendy. I was talking about how there's some musicals on this list that are older and could use some updating. And this is one of them. It has some moats in it. Now, the whole point is that it's supposed to be these brothers are kind of sexist in a way but i think they would make it a little different if they made a lot uh, if they made a remake of it they would probably make it a little different but for the most part i think the story is kind of fun for those who don't know what this is it's a story of four uh, of seven brothers as they try to get wives very funny the first one gets a wife pretty easily and basically yeah the other ones find these women that they want to marry and I won't spoil what happens, but they make some bad choices with it. And the ending is a little bit of a problem with how it gives this impression that you can do this bad stuff and the woman would still love you for it. And I, I think there's problems with that. But overall, I think the story is a lot of fun. And if you guys haven't seen it, the music in this is absolutely hilarious. There's some very great songs. I think one of my favorite songs, while it has problems with it, and but it's really hilarious how, you know, kind of wrong it is, is the song Sobbing Women. It's absolutely hilarious, and once you see the movie, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's absolutely hilarious. There's other songs like Going Courtin, other songs like that, it's just, just like absolutely hilarious. But yeah, it definitely has its problems with this movie, but if you are not so pushy on that you can't watch any older movies that might have some problems in it, I would recommend you guys check this out because it's a lot of fun. Number 11. Newsies. Newsies is one of those movies that is just absolutely awesome. The music in it is so much fun, especially King of New York. It's off of a musical. The story is a very sweet story about, you know, Newsies from New York, newspaper boys, who are orphans and it's just going on an adventure with seeing the life they have to live. It's kind of like a boy version of Annie, the story of Annie. Well, that's a a movie about a bunch of orphan girls 
this is a story about a bunch of orphan boys and the adventure they go on. So it's a, it's a fun story. I enjoy it. It's a very fun little movie. I would strongly recommend you guys check it out if you guys haven't yet. Hey guys, so we're now halfway through. We're up to number 10. This, so that this video doesn't go on for too long, I'm going to put this into two different, I'm gonna split this into two different parts. I will be releasing the second part almost immediately after releasing the first part, so you guys get a chance to watch them both. But yes, so tell me your thoughts on these ones, and let's see if any of the ones you are thinking of appear on the top 10. So you guys, just click on the video right now so that you can see it when it comes out. 